Hey, good morning. It, it's going to be a nice day here on Walla Walla. It's been raining and storming and all kinds of things here for uh, for quite some time. And uh, maybe it'll be nice uh, today. It's uh, what time we got here? Why, it's 630. Day's almost over. So uh, what I was going to show today is um, uh, just along uh, with what I been doing and uh, that's uh, working on some uh, uh, broke down uh, garbage trucks that I bought used. <laughs> and I'm uh, setting up the uh, wall hopter head and uh, this uh, uh, old brown and sharp uh, horizontal milling machine with a vertical head and I, I haven't uh, used this head in this machine and uh, I thought I might show a little bit more detail on the wall hopter head and um, let's get on that. Okay, get you loose here and it shouldn't be too far away. Here we go. Okay, I got the uh, I got the wall hopter head in there and I'm uh, um, I, I got this rigged up here, this, um, this is really a nice item, this little Noga arm. And see, I've got an uh, indicator here, and I got it uh, trimmed to the table pretty good. Okay, so um, the, uh, let me take that out. I'll get that little thing out of there. Uh, had to make this little brass bushing for an adapter here. I made this adapter for half-inch boring bars I could use uh, in that Wally head. So I'll set this over here somewhere where I hope they won't drop it on the floor. Okay, now one of the things I wanted to show on this head here is this, the top collar. Now, if I can rotate it around, now there's a notch right here, okay? Now this collar top part here swings around and uh, this pin pushes down, if I can do it. Might take my thumb. Yeah, see it pushed down, a good snap. And what that is is a safety clutch, I, I guess. Then you put your uh, stop bar in here and we'll bring that around. I'll have to reattach. You bring that around and bear it against the machine, see? And that's that's a good spot for that. It'll just uh, ride there. Okay, I'm going to bring that back around again. And we'll get that pin where you can see it. And this side, we'll get it all together. Now, right here, this plate, uh, you can set it. And there's supposed to be one on the other side, and I didn't get it with the head. But this works just fine. Um, so when this plate, you adjust it, and when it contacts that pin here, it kicks loose this clutch. It'll push that pin up. And uh, once that happens, the collar spins, and it no longer um, feeds, okay? So the other part of that I think I showed before is you take the special tool, this thing, and it fits into there. And when that's uh, pushed over, let's see if I can do it like this, see? It pushes these pins out. Okay, so let's, let's, uh, let's feed this thing 3,000. So we'll push, oh, no, it's right on that uh, store wheel. Okay, that's a half thousandths, one thousandths, Keep going around, one and a half, uh, two, two and a half. May just kick another one in. Okay, that's three thousandths feet. So we'll put the stop bar in, get it back over here, and put that against the machine. Okay. Now I'm going to uh, crank this back and we'll kick it on and just watch it feed a little bit. 
Okay, get this in gear. And let's see, make sure we're in a reasonable speed. Yeah, I got it um, maybe about 250 RPM. Okay, we are in gear. Let's go with it. Oh, I'm not in gear. There's always one thing I forget. I had it uh, in neutral here. Whoop, because uh, I wanted to pump oil in it for a while. There we go. A lot of levers, new machine to me. Okay, here we go. Okay. It's feeding. <laughs> yeah, I see it fed, so it's uh, it's equal. So you adjust the feed by the pins. I've pointed that out before. So the head is really quite a bit uh, uh, really simple to operate, and uh, it's it's just uh, kind of uh, a uh, um, more. Uh, more simple thing than, than you would really think it is. I get that thing back over here. In between uh, low and high and I can turn it. Okay. So what I'm going to do is um, <clears throat> I'm going to put this uh, back plate in here and, and face it like I did this one over in, in the uh, <clears throat> jig boring machine. And <clears throat> Excuse me. The back plate I'm going to uh, face is really quite damaged. Let's see if I can drag it out here. It's a heavy one. Uh, I'm going to clunk it on the floor here. Okay. Now, what I figured uh, that happened is the chuck came loose and it battered up the uh, taper here. So, I'm going to just do a test cut with the uh, with the uh, milling machine here just to see how good how flat it'll get it because I haven't used the machine but normally I use the jig bore over here and the one thing about the jig bore that uh, I think kind of gets uh, looked over is you can keep uh, putting parts on here and they're true so if I face the back of the uh, the chuck, this part here, um, I can uh, take it out and put it back in and face it more, you know, as needed, or the same as cutting this taper. So I can juggle it back and forth um, and get it so it, it fits perfect. And you've got a couple of thousands to kind of play with before things get too tight or too loose. So it's not that hard to hit uh, hit what you're trying to do, um, uh, getting one of these uh, chucks to fit onto a spindle. And they're not as accurately made, chucks in general, as you might think. They're just turned. None of this was ground. It's all turned at the factory. And, uh, you know, there's uh, probably better quality chucks that are all precision ground, but this uh, Cushman and this uh, uh, Bison here aren't. So I think as I go along uh, with uh, repairing these chucks, I think... Uh, It'll become uh, become kind of uh, uh, clear 
that uh, they're a lot easier to repair than a lot of people might think. And uh, I think I can uh, explain that. And the thing about it is, uh, up in this country here, uh, most shops just can't afford to buy new chucks every year. So um, I think chucks are uh, more or less rebuilt in my area more than other areas where they just toss them and buy uh, new ones. <laughs> but I think this is a good subject because of the cost of things. And uh, myself, I'm always looking to keep costs down. So uh, we'll keep going. I'm, I'll shoot a video of, of the of the wall hopter uh, cutting in, into the uh, that uh, truck back plate, and uh, then we'll get back, get back on the uh, jig bore here to fit the trucks, and uh, it'll be nice so I can go out uh, and check them on the spindle on that old axle. So, okay, I'll be back pretty soon. Thanks for looking. Bye bye.